All right, this uh, tutorial video today is about the Jack's Kitchen trailer and the setup of the trailer. So if those people that are renting it know how to take it up and down. Uh, what you're seeing is the trailer in its tow mode with the dust trailer, the dust cover down. And we're gonna start by chalking the wheels so that uh, when you disconnect it from your vehicle, it doesn't roll away on you. It is pretty stable and doesn't roll very much, but uh, it is a good safety precaution. Disconnect the lights, the chain, and the hitch. Lower the, the wheel, and then you'll use that wheel to initially level the trailer as you disconnect it. You want to make sure that the trailer is nice and level once you've got it disconnected and set up so that as you're uh, cooking in the trailer, uh, everything is level and uh, your food and the griddle all works well. There are four stabilizing legs that we're going to set up and put down. There's a stabilizing leg, or a stabilizing arm that comes down first and then the leg uh, lowers. And then the stabilizing arm connects to keep the leg perpendicular to the trailer. There'll be a pin that connects those together and then an extra pin that you put in the holder spot. And there's one in each corner. They all come down the same. So make sure that we lower all four legs down and they all connect to the same stabilizing arm with the pins. making sure all four corners are down so that as we lift this trailer up and stabilize it uh, it'll be a good uh, work surface to work from there's a corner hole in each of the in the trailer a tra a there's a hole in each of the four corners of the trailer where you can put in a um, tool that allows you to lower the legs and raise the legs lower them all the way down till they touch and then you can check for level again just as needed. The legs are actually strong enough that you could lift it all the way off the ground so if you're on a very unlevel surface you can use those legs to pull it all the way up and off the wheels and uh, stabilize it just on the legs. And then make sure you adjust the front wheel so that you're not uh, pivoting off of it instead of off of the four legs on the trailer and then store the tools for lowering the legs back in the front cabinet. We're going to check level left to right also and you can adjust the legs needed. Now we're going to open up the dust cover. We've got the velcro straps in the back that tighten it. There's uh, zippers in all four corners. Then we can roll up the dust cover and use the straps at the top to velcro them up and out of the way. The dust cover is just there for transportation so we're just moving it out of the way so that as we're operating in the kitchen trailer they're tucked up and above the awning that goes around the, tra the trailer. So now the dust cover is up and we're ready to start setting up the trailer. We need to be careful as we lower the, the deck that we don't catch it on that tan awning. So there's a pin that we release and then we put out the fins that will support it. And then as we release the last pin and pivot it out, we need to slowly lower it down. I use a couple extra people to bring it down and then the four corners they're on hinges also, they're just going to lay down until we bring those up and connect it all together. Repeat it for the other side. The pins down low that release it, and then lower it slowly and carefully. And then the front and the back release also. The pins are up top in the right hand corner, and the fins come out, and then again we lower it down slowly. And then we'll repeat this in the back also. And then we have four um, rods that we use to support the corners. So you'll see that there's a receiver down by the um, corner of the trailer that goes up and into the deck. A little bit of pressure sometimes to put those in and then that'll make it square up with the deck and then there's a pin to connect the deck together on all the corners also. So you repeat that for all four corners. And it creates a deck that we can then walk all the way around the trailer on and it will be a good surface for people coming and going and uh, working up on the trailer. Once we have that done, we're going to be setting it up. This is the setup uh, look of the trailer that we're going to be getting to once you raise it up and put up the awning around it and the stairs installed. So first step of that is that we need the jacks that raise the roof of the trailer up. There's two of them, one for each end. 
they hook up onto the roof of the tra of the trailer and then down into the deck there's a small hole that that will set down into and then you're going to crank it up be careful not to let go of the crank handle sometimes they don't um, hold in place and they'll unwrap unratchet and then you'll also need to kind of manually adjust it as it goes up sometimes it pushes up faster on one side than the other and has someone obviously working on the other end like you see here in the video and then these uh, pins as you bring it up you'll see that a, a hole becomes visible and the pin will slide into that hole and that's what's going to hold up the deck the ceiling or the roof of the trailer long term as you're using it all right the next step we're going to remove the jacks from the roof we're going to lower them down and then we're going to uh, store them underneath the trailer the next step then is to put in the awning supports so there's a box, wooden box inside the trailer that holds all these awning supports. We put in the four corners first. The four corners are slightly different than the rest of it. There's actually a little receiver arm that these go into. All of these uh, awning poles are the same length. And then uh, you put it into the corner and then into the small hole in the deck. And then there's an adjustment bar that can be tightened and loosened depending on where it might have been out on the trailer previously and if we need to tighten up the awning. And then once we've done the four corners, then we're looking, there's holes in uh, the roof of the trailer that the rest of the poles will go into, and then again into the small holes in the deck, and then repeat that all the way around the trailer. Sometimes you pivot out the pole a little bit to make sure that it will slip into the grommet up above, and then you can get it into place, and it makes for a nice, good, tight um, shelter all the way around the, the trailer. Next, we're gonna pull out the stairs and the railing for the stairs. There's three sets of stairs. They go into the large holes on the deck and they can actually go into all four corners of the, um, of the deck have holes in each direction. So there's actually eight mounting positions where you can use these stairs. They can be used for staff going up and down or if you're having a food line coming up and down the trailer, you can set those up so that the people can come up and get the food that you're cooking for them. And then the railing's gonna hook into the side of the stairs pretty easy to slip it into the holes and then you've got a railing and you're ready to use the deck there's also a railing that goes around the whole deck of the trailer that can be attached to the awning poles those are in the bottom of the wood storage box you'll pull out the pieces and figure out where they fit in the different spaces sometimes to fit them in you'll have to release the bottom of the awning pole just kind of lean it out that allow you to slide the railing pieces into the awning poles. Any extra equipment, take it out of the trailer and store it underneath. Great place to put extra equipment. This is the warming oven. It's not good for baking, but it will get up to a couple hundred degrees, so you can put food in there to keep it warm. Just put the propane burner underneath it. Hook a propane bottle to the tank or to the burner and it uh, can be a great place to, as you're cooking food, storing it inside the oven to keep it warm before you serve it. And then you need to hook a propane tank up to the griddle. Uh, just standard propane tank hookups. And then the grease trap on the left hand side for the griddle. Four burners for the griddle. And then we've got some extra storage and some other equipment on the opposite side of the griddle. Down in this tote you'll find a variety of things of rope and uh, pipe. The pipe is for legs to go on to a camp shift if you want to set them on this piece of cabinetry. It's a short set of legs so you can use that camp shift inside. There are also some extra lights that work with the trailer. Uh, they connect to some various points around the trailer. There's eight of them I believe and uh, there's a little extension cord so you can extend them out and then connect them to the awning poles. There are four lights inside the cooking area and then there's these additional lights that work great for lighting up the deck or for lighting up the area around the trailer. Um, can be real handy at times. There's a solar panel on top of the trailer and this is a solar panel controller and then that solar panel you can read the voltage of the battery here and that battery will charge great during the day you'll have as much light as you need to be able to run lights and the water pump. There's a couple fuses over here and then also a switch for turning the water pump on and off. 
Make sure the water pump is turned off when you're not using water. And this exterior light switch is for the lights that are on the little extension cords. And then there's a switch to turn off the charging of the battery for the solar panel. Trailer set up with some vents. We can release that uh, nut there, bring down the arm, and then extend it up so that if you're cooking inside the trailer, getting some um, fumes come, you can open up the trailer and it'll vent out the top. Here's how that looks from the top. You can't open the vents that are below the um, solar panel. This is an extra little piece of uh, countertop that can be put up, release the pins that extend the length of it, put the pins back in, and then it mounts into a small hole on the deck there. Miscellaneous equipment in the trailer, some wash bins and other things that we'll have around. Some storage drawers that you can put uh, equipment or food in. Some equipment to clean the griddle with. And that's the trailer all set up. It has on it uh, fresh water tanks for the hand washing sink and then a gray water. We'll show you that here in a minute. Now we're going to go through trailer breakdown. First thing you do is remove the warming oven, set it as far forward in the trailer as you can. And then we're going to put in the box for all of the poles. We're going to put that over next to the griddle. It packs better if you put it on that side. The goal here is to stash or to install, put all the equipment in as far forward as you can. The stairs will nest together to make that more compact. If you're putting anything extra in the trailer, weight wise you need to put it forward of the axles, or either on top of the axles or forward of them to allow for there to be enough, uh, as much weight forward as you can. Then we're going to remove the poles just like we did in the opposite way of uh, when they were installed. All the sides first and then the corners, the four corners will come out last. Again, remove those corners, tip them out to pull them out of the poles. All right, as we lower the the roof down, keep an eye on the corners, on those posts, those poles that were used for the uh, awning in the corner will sometimes catch and so will the um, awning. We want to avoid cutting that awning or having any damage to it. We're going to pull out the support posts in the four corners of the deck, put them back in their storage spot. And then we're going to put up the front and the back first, putting the pin down to hold those in place. Make sure we're moving the awning out of the, out of the way so we don't rip it. And then folding the fins back in. Again, those are kind of heavy, the decks are, so make sure you get enough hands on that to support it and to not have it come falling back down before you get the pins in. Same process for both sides. Okay, once the deck is up, we can roll the dust cover down by releasing the straps, lowering it down. We're going to zip together the front of the dust cover first, but not secure the Velcro yet. We want to get the back connected and make sure that that's ready before we do the front Velcro. Folding it all in, that way it'll all fit together correctly. Put the zippers down, then use the Velcro straps in the back to tighten everything both sides and then we can secure the velcro on the front we're gonna put the legs back up lowering it down depending on how much uh, you have put those legs down just make sure they come all the way back up otherwise they won't go in correctly we're gonna lift them up and in and we're gonna slide the stabilizing arms over and pin those up also the legs are kind of heavy so you're best off to get down on the ground, get your, get your arms underneath it, make sure you've got enough uh, leverage to lift it up, hold it in place while you slide the pin into place that supports it and keeps it up. There are a couple extra pins if you need them in that uh, tote that we saw with all the other equipment. All right, there's two tanks for a freshwater tank, one on the left and one on the right. You can fill that with a hose. We've got a potable water hose that will be in the trailer. We don't use the city service connections. And then at the back of the trailer is the drain for the gray water tank. And there should be a hose also in the trailer for hooking up that gray water and to drain it. So 
So we've got a seven pin adapter. It's a two inch ball connection for the trailer. And make sure that your hitch is set to keep the trailer level. So if you got an adjustable hitch, it's about 17 inches. And that's the takedown of the Jack's Kitchen trailer. We recommend that when you're towing the trailer that you be careful with your speeds, make sure that it's towing well and that uh, everything goes well as you're taking it to your location. Enjoy the trailer. Thank you.